Welcome back to Author's Note. Tougher regulation since the financial crisis has caused banks to withdraw from their traditional role as market makers in the corporate bond market. This has led to concerns over liquidity in the increasingly important global market and worries are brewing that after a sharp rally in corporate debt since the summer, getting off this bandwagon could be harder than getting on. With me to discuss this is Kevin Corrigan, Head of Credit and Portfolio Manager at Lombard Odier. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. So if we turn to the first graph here, we can see the uh, amount of corporate bonds held by US primary dealers uh, and how that's fallen very dramatically since the financial crisis, um, partly due to regulation. Um, what's the importance of this for the markets? Well, this is a very important measure for how liquid and how uh, costly it is to trade in corporate bonds. Clearly before the crisis, when you had levels of inventory that were very high, the ability for banks to intermediate between buyers and sellers was, was a very good one. Mm. And when you have a lot of inventory and you have a lot of potential liquidity, transaction costs come down. The reverse is happening, of course, since the crisis, is that as these levels come down, there's also a consequent increase in the cost of transacting. And as you've mentioned, there's a regulatory compulsion here that means that dealers are penalised for holding bonds on balance sheet that require capital charges um, that the bank may not want to incur. So how does that affect your, um, as, as a portfolio manager? I think you have to be careful about the sort of portfolios that you're trying to create. I think prior to this crisis, I think you could have had a fairly defined and fairly short number of bonds to, uh, that you could own in a, in, a, in a bond portfolio. These days you're having to be very careful about the actual number of bonds you own. And the more bonds you own, it's likely that you can mitigate some of this liquidity issue. So that's one thing you can do. The other thing to do is remember that what caused this crisis in 2008 was one industry causing such a massive problem for the rest of the economy and for the rest of the market, which was the financial sector. In 2000 it was the technology sector. So being careful about the composition of your industry weights and your issuer weights will also help to mitigate this particular issue. Is there a concern that it might be harder to, <coughs> there might be bumpiness on the way down? Uh, there's, a, there's a concern there. But the things to remember are that this isn't just a sort of flighty uh, investment uh, driven uh, uh, phenomenon. Um, we have a secular change in the environment now which means that both in terms of demographics and in terms of the way the, the real economy has been behaving, that the incentive for investors to own debt and to own fixed income uh, is, is greater than before. So there's this secular change which I think is underpinning a lot of what we're seeing rather than simply a speculative sort of interest in the asset class. Um, and if we could turn to the next graph, um, this shows the rapid growth of the corporate bond market globally since, uh, since the crisis, partly on the back of da bank deleveraging um, corporates, the, the corporate bond markets have come in to fill the funding gap. Yeah. Um, again, is that a, is a concern with lower liquidity, perhaps higher volatility, uh, the impact of the corporate bond market on the real economy is all mm. the greater? Mm. Well, I'm not sure that we should be that concerned. I mean, this, this particular uh, chart um, is only one part of the picture. Uh, when people consider the investability of corporates, they don't simply say, well, how much is outstanding? They're looking also at how can companies service this debt? The other thing to point out is I think it's quite nuanced what's going on here. If you actually looked at the non-US market, since 2010 in the UK market and in the European corporate bond market, uh, at the high grade level, you've actually had a net negative issuance, meaning there are more bonds being taken out of the market, whether it's companies buying them back or bonds maturing, than there are coming into the market. And that's creating a, another demand pusher, if you like, for the asset class. Uh, and, and again, that's another reason why I think we're seeing sort of low levels in, in terms of nominal yields on corporate bonds and also quite high returns. Thank you very much for coming in, Kevin. Uh, with further regulation in the US and Europe coming into play in the coming years, uh, banks are unlikely to return to their market-making role and liquidity is set to be an ongoing issue in the corporate bond market.